Luca's going to challenge Yen Ching soon. I should join him in the lounge to make sure he's ready. War dance commemorative item. A collector's model of... Wow, a source just informed me that General Jing Yuan himself will be present for the upcoming Ringmaster's Challenge. Huh? The General is such a busy man. I can't believe he's coming to watch a... nobody like me in action. Mr. Luca, know your worth. You're far from being a nobody now. The most popular war dance contestant from another planet is challenging his disciple. Of course he has to be here. <sighs> this is so stressful. I can't embarrass Bellabog in front of General Jin Yuan. I feel like my heart is about to burst out of my throat. Uh, um, being too nervous might affect your performance. How about a bottle of Sweet Dream Soda? I shouldn't drink that. Ah, how about this? Let's go watch someone else's match, shall we? According to the schedule, the current match is... The current match is... Between Boot Hill and Yan Ching! Oh, that sounds interesting. Let's go! You need some fresh air! Being cooped up here in the lounge will only make you more nervous. Let's get moving! Might miss a match if we wait any longer! Sweat may be drenched by now. Still, I wonder why Mr. Boothill suddenly decided to holster his gun and forfeit the match. Was he intimidated by Yin Xing's swords, or was he forced to leave because he's wanted by the IPC? Regardless, I hereby declare the winner of the match, the Low Fools Ring Master Yin Xing! Oh, we're too late. Looks like we'll have to catch the replay later on. Oh, son of a fudge. Now, that boy is strong. Well, I'll be hornswoggled. You all come to see my match. Oh, too bad. Those little IPC fudgelings are on my tail. I gotta hightail it out of here. I gotta say, your original iron arm looks good. But you know, uh, no matter how tight the schedule, there's always room for a goodbye. Before I head out, uh, let me buy you a cup of tea. Deuce Tea House in Arm Alley has some mighty fine fudging tea. Fiery, just the way we like it. Us grown men need it strong and kicking. Fudge, yeah. There's no way! You're wanted by the IPC. How can I trust you to take him out for tea? Camera girl, I don't even mind that you're one of them little IPC fudgelings. Yet here you are, acting all fork and judgmental. Trailblazer, Miss Carmella. Please, don't worry about me. I believe Boot Hill means no harm. I'll be back soon.
Relax, I'm pretty self-disciplined. I usually don't even take drinks with sugar in them. Mr. Boothill, welcome. Please, take a seat. Hey, isn't this the Luca strong arm that everyone's been talking about? It's a pleasure to have two distinguished guests here today. Uh, what can I get for you? Just let me know. I'm fixing to leave the Lafu, so uh, give me a send-off with a cup of that single malt strong tea you only get on the Sienjo. No need for the fancy stuff. Uh, Popper's blood will do just fine. As for him, uh, he's about to face a tough battle, so uh, fix him up a glass of hero spirit. No problem. I'll be right back. The vibe of this place is similar to Bellabok. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. I'm buying you drinks for two reasons. I want to apologize to you, but that's the first. My intention was to test your resolve, but threatening a competitor with life and death was uh, a bit over the line. I'm real sorry. If you drink this cup of tea, it means you forgive me, okay? I learned a lot from that match against you, Mr. Boothill. Actually, I should be thanking you for that. Okay. Glad you ain't mad. Now let's get to the second reason. I think you should pull out of the competition. Uh, that's out of the question. I won't back down. Just like how I faced your gun last time. I'm leaving not just because time's running out for me, but partly because of that ringmaster too. This kid's young, but he's got some serious skills. Facing him will take too long, and there's no guarantee of winning. It ain't worth getting caught by those forking IPC hounds over a competition. You're different. You always have the choice to leave. The whole cosmos knows about you and Bellabog now, so you've already achieved your goal. No one will blame you if you withdraw now, but if you step into the ring, You'll be crushed. You get what I'm saying? I understand. But I'm still gonna step into the ring and throw a punch. Win or lose, the outcome isn't the only thing that matters. <laughs> I'm impressed, kid. Oh, you're testing my resolve again! I almost fell for your trap. Dog, my whoa, boot your forking sharp, boy. <laughs> you remind me of a friend, a girl called Rappa. She said in her own ways, just like you. Is she as weak as me? Well, can you crush a star with your bare hands? Uh, can she? She can't, but she always insists that she can. <laughs> ah, that's ridiculous. Lord, <laughs> holy forkaroni. She's really strong. It's getting late. The match with Yan Cheng is starting soon. I wonder if Luke is back. Let's see whether he's in the lounge. Can't believe the match is about to start. I feel as though I'm having a dream. Stay calm, Luca. Just treat this like any other regular point-based tournament. Right! 
right. Regardless of how the Ringmaster's challenge transpires, you've already made a mark in Bellabogian history. That's exactly what makes me feel like I'm dreaming. Uh, in fact, the biggest takeaway from this trip to the Luofu is that it made me realize something. I don't fight to gain or prove anything. I don't even do this for the sake of winning. Whenever I throw my punches, I feel like I'm the happiest man in the cosmos. That's the only reason I'm doing this. Even though I don't fully understand it, I'm still pleased to witness your growth. Well, it's time for you to get ready for the final battle. I can't believe it took me so long to realize that Japard, Argenti, Boot Hill, Svarog, and Mr. Tail were all trying to tell me the same thing. Oh, does this mean I've got one foot in the realm of the strong now? Huh, maybe it's the mentality that makes you strong. Luca, are you ready to challenge Yanqing? been ready for a long time. Wow! I'm not even ready yet. Hi, Mr. Luca. We meet again. But, uh, how is this possible? You're... you're... Lung Fung. <laughs> Sorry for not revealing my name previously. I'm the LaFu's ringmaster, Yen Ching. Mr. Luca, I've had my eye on you these past few days. You weren't aware, but I was in the crowd watching all your matches. I must say, you're a formidable warrior. You're resilient, sharp, and strong. What's even more impressive is your resolve. Every punch you throw shows a courage that doesn't care about winning or losing. That has left a deep impression on me. I've heard about what happened to your planet, so I understand how you need this win. Just one more step, and you'll take Bellabog's name into the history books with you. But, as the Lafu Ringmaster, there are things I must uphold. I don't have a stirring pre-battle speech, Yanqing. Uh, thanks for giving me directions when I was lost. Many have done the same thing for me these last few days. And it's thanks to all of you that I'm here now. <sighs> Do you still remember the lofty aspirations we yelled loudly at the sky? I, Luca, will be the winner! I will defeat Yan Ching! All eyes are upon Luca Strongarm, 
who has finally arrived in front of Yenxing after overcoming numerous hurdles. Since the beginning of the war dance, the match between Luka and Yan Xing has been the most anticipated one among the audience. Now, this highly awaited showdown is about to unfold before viewers across the cosmos. What will be the final result of this match? Let's watch and find out. Anyone who qualifies for the Ringmaster's Challenge is a respectable warrior. You're a top-notch boxer, just like I'm a top-notch swordsman. The outcome of this match isn't going to change that. Yen Xing, I'll give it my all to defeat you. Likewise. <laughs> Showdown begins now! My swords are swirling around the ring. How will Luca deal with them? Sword, heed me! The is not even candy opening for Luca. Can Luca turn the ties again? Luca officially neutralizes his opponent's attack. Keep calm and use your iron fist against your opponent. Do it for me! Or maybe I'll take you off. Never hesitate! No! Oh! Luka pulls off a Tiger Miracle with his bare hand! What a man! I leave for the party. Oh. 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 Seriously. Punish evil. Attack detected. He's struggling to land a counter. The is going to do. The fear is not fear. You're all in. Watch your head. I weep for the department. This is a fall. The defensive! We do! Still water is about to unleash his signature move! Luka, will you be able to take this? Cut through the ranks! You're 
swords are so tough, my iron arm has gone kaput. In this case, I'll stop using my swords. Let's decide who the winner is with our bare fists! Ching, are you doing this out of sympathy? I don't need a victory like this, because I have no problem accepting defeat. No, you aren't defeated. Can't you hear? Everyone's cheering for you, Luca. I think that in their minds, someone like you could never be considered defeated. <laughs> Such a moving battle! <sighs> Thanks, Yinqing. In a true fight, does losing even matter? Winning and losing are part of any match. But I gave it my all, and I did it! I kept throwing punches, punch after punch, until the very end. When I go back to Bellabog, there will be another fight waiting for me in the future, and many more battles to come. <sighs> Archie, I tried my best. Just like you, I won. Takes his defeat in stride. The audience is passion stays strong. The constant applause is a salute to this resilient Bellabogian fighter. <laughs> in my view, there is no winner or loser in this match. At this moment, the admiration both sides have for each other, and the audience's enthusiasm speaks for itself. This is an unprecedented match that goes beyond. I didn't expect my war dance journey would end in this way. I've never felt so at ease. I think it's time to pack up my things and head home with Lynx and the others. Sorry for disturbing your rest, Mr. Luca. General Jing Yuan would like to meet you. Please, make your way to the seat of Divine Foresight. Me? But I lost the match. Is the General really interested in meeting defeated contestants too? As a Skyfaring Commission staff member, I'm afraid I don't have the answer to that question. Hello, Luca from Bellabog. It is a pleasure to meet you. 
General Jingyuan, it's my honor to meet you. But I'm not quite sure why you summoned me here to the seat of divine foresight. Because of that exciting match earlier. And also because you're the second war dance contestant from Yurilo in the past 700 years. Do you mean... Uh, have you by any chance heard of Igor Haft? <laughs> Igor, what a nostalgic name. I know him, but... Actually, I should say I will always remember him. You and he are two of a kind. General, do you know about Igor's experience on the Shenzhou? In our hometown, many of us have heard of Igor Haft's heroic tale, but we don't know what he really went through during his journey beyond the sky. Please, you have to tell me his story. <sighs> that was over 700 years ago. At that time, I was young and also serving as the war dance's ringmaster. Igor, a tall and red-haired boxer, appeared in the ring. Every swing of his fist felt like it carried the weight of an entire world. He had a peculiar habit after finishing a match. While turning down all the prizes and gifts, he would talk about his homeland's plight to the spectators, warning them of the antimatter legion's attacks as he sought help from those who were capable. Just like that, he conquered every opponent and finally stood before me. Much like how you faced Yan Ching. He threw his punches in silence, matching me blow for blow. But as the fight was nearing its end, he suddenly stopped and left the arena. Igor, the Alliance leaders have listened to your tale and your homeland struggles. Many Cloud Knights feel sympathy for your situation. Is there... Anything more than sympathy? They are unable to send forces. We've received a warning signal from the Yao Qing, meaning a major conflict between the Xianzhou and the denizens of abundance is imminent. I understand. Thank you, Jing Yuan. Where will you go next? I'm headed home. Because my home needs me. I thought I would surely find a way to rescue it. Or at least someone in this vast cosmos would hear my plea for help. But I was wrong. Eurilo 6's tragedy is insignificant. Disasters unfold in every corner of the universe. If not here, then there. If not today, then tomorrow. <laughs> People have grown accustomed to the disappearance of insignificant stars in the sky. <laughs> While I've been fighting here, my family and friends are bleeding to death because of the Antimatter Legion's invasion. With every fist I threw, their hopes dimmed a little more. It's time for me to go back.